6 News, live at 5. And know that when it sounds too good to be true, it most definitely is. Words of wisdom from one feisty Heartland woman, how she turned the tables on scammers. Good evening, I'm Mallory Maddox. And I'm Joe Chiodo. We often hear of senior citizens who fall victim to scams, and then they lose hundreds, sometimes thousands of dollars. Well, today we have a story about an Omaha grandmother who turned the tables. John Chapman continues our coverage. Anytime someone calls you on your phone to offer you money, you need to put your guard up. Alice LeBeau had her defenses ready Hello? when her phone rang and the voice on the other end yes, offered her $8,500, a government grant, money she would not have to repay. I thought, wow, $8,500, I could use that. And then I'm thinking, too, at the same time, this is too good to be true. Alice listened to the pitch. The caller wanted to know how Alice would like to receive her $8,500 grant. Would it be direct deposit to my bank? Or would I like it on a credit card? Well, I have an old credit card that isn't any good. So I thought, okay, let's go for this. Let's see where this leads. It led to another phone call. That's when Alice told the scammers that the scam was on them. And then uh, she mentioned Western Union. I said, oh, what's Western Union for? And she says, well, we need $260 to make sure that you get this and your money will be refunded to you through this grant. It'll be added on. I said, really? I said, well, let me tell you something. I said, first off, you've been scammed. That credit card is no good, and how dare you sat there and steal from people. And she hung up on me. Alice hopes by and telling her story that other people will be prepared when they receive a call and someone offers a deal phone. that's just too good to be true. With photographer Mike Plews, John Chapman, WOWT 6 News. The Better Business Bureau says it is aware of the scam, and if you have the phone number of the people making that call, you can report it to the BBB. Or you can call the Federal Trade Commission. We have both of those numbers on this story. You can go to our website, WOWT.com. It may be a case of criminals working overtime. A Crime Stoppers alert tonight. Omaha police are investigating two robberies they now say are connected. The first early in the morning on Saturday, April 11th. This one at the Walgreens store near 50th and Center. The second a week later at the Walgreens at 90th and Blondo. Police aren't saying how the robbers are connected, only that they are. This right here is a video from the first one. You can see the suspect take out a gun and demand cash from the register. It's a similar scenario at the 90th and Blondo location. An armed suspect wearing a dark sweatshirt enters the store and demands cash. After receiving it, he again takes off on foot. Anyone with information is in either robbery rather is asked to call Crime Stoppers at 444 stop. A pretty nice day out there, but we want to tell you grab the jacket if you plan to head out. I had my winter coat out today as I we joined <laughs> Chief Meteorologist Michael Point. I said yesterday my winter coat is packed away. You better find it. Oh. I have to find it. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> may need an umbrella tonight for areas north and to the east of the metro. A few sprinkles and the light showers moving through. Nothing major. Not everybody will see it. Take a look right now on our Sky Alert Live. Quiet here in the metro, but some of this is sliding down to the southeast. Right now we are getting some light rain in the Logan area over toward Harlan and Woodbine if you're in western Iowa. For the most part, though, it'll be out of here before you know it. But again, it's all trekking up to the east and southeast roughly at about 30 miles per hour. Temperatures today, we did make it to 62. We're at 55 right now, 59 in Gretna, and the current temperature in Ashland is at 61 degrees. Here's the forecast, your hour by hour planning forecast for the evening. Just a slight chance this uh, evening. It's going to be uh, north and east of the metro. Otherwise, we're going to start to see clearing skies and temperatures go from the 50s to the low 40s by midnight under mostly clear skies. And would you believe by tomorrow morning, we're going to the lower 30s. Mm. Yeah, the lower 30s. Find the coat, you. Joe. We'll Have do your it. coat needed tomorrow, guys. On my to-do list. All right, thank you, Mike. Sure. Well, nearly one in five children right here in the metro, right here, isn't sure where or when their next meal will come. Yeah, a pretty alarming statistic there. In an effort to fight child hunger, ConAgra Foods and Kids Against Hunger took over the Century Link Center to pack and then eventually deliver a half million meals. From here, they will go to local food pantries, helping make this happen. More than 700 ConAgra employees who are a part of the fourth annual Kids Against Hunger Million Meal March. 
Niagara Foods addresses hunger all throughout the year, all throughout the country, and you're right, more than one in five children are living in food insecure homes, which means those households don't have consistent access to food. But what's great about this day is employees come together, there's a lot of enthusiasm, we challenge each other, and ultimately it's for a great cause. We found this group of airmen volunteering today, part of the mass of people expected to help out to take part in this volunteer effort. The journey of a thousand miles begins with one step, and that's exactly the case for one Omaha elementary school. As Aaron Murray explains, that journey all started with a punch card and an idea of one very special little girl. Nice job, you're close. A step at a time. All right, close to, close to blue. These elementary school students are counting the laps they run. I feel really proud of myself for getting kids a lot more active, because you can tell that they're a lot more excited about running and walking the trail now. Meet Brooklyn Wheeler, a precocious fourth grader at Crestridge Elementary School. Fantastic. This is all her doing, Excellent. a Girl Scout project that's become so much more than another award. It's called a mileage club. A punch is given for each lap. 16 punches. A kid is given a new card and a charm. Now each charm is worth three and a half miles. Several kids have already done more than a marathon, which is 26 miles. It makes me feel, feel good and it kind of inspires me to do more, get more active myself. A school day is long for elementary school students. There's never enough time um, to be able to manage everything. So to have all of this movement during recess, I think, is, is completely positive. In the end, with staff and students exercising for a cause, creating new friendships and logging the miles worth more than the cost. Kids are showing grit out here and it's a great lesson for us to use with them too that the same grit that they have to get those four more punches they can use that in the classroom. Every day Brooklyn's oh. friends run laps, cards get punched go. and she packs up to do it again tomorrow. A circle worth repeating. With Chase Moffitt and photographer Christian Shampoo, Aaron Murray, WOWT 6 News. What a great story. Well, Brooklyn, get this, also cold called Red Dirt Running Company and Peak Performance, who gladly jumped on board to donate gift cards. Those will be given out at the end of the year to the student with the most laps. But the school and Wheeler family say they continue to see the reward each and every day, lap after lap. Great job to them. Moving on, a man is accused of taking down a street light while leading police on a pursuit on 13th Street. Today, he makes his first court appearance in Sarpy County. Bond has been set at $100,000 for 29-year-old Darrell McElderry. He's facing a list of felony charges, including DUI, third offense, and flight to avoid arrest. McElderry was taken into custody by Bellevue Police early Saturday morning after leading them on a pursuit from Fort Crook Road to 13th and Mid-City Avenue. Along the way, he knocked down a street light and hit another vehicle before then ditching his truck and attempting to get away on foot. In this case, the saying no good deed goes unpunished is accurate. The search continues for a man accused of stealing from an Iowa State Patrol trooper. The trooper says he found Jesse McIntyre and another man stranded along I-29. He gave them a ride to Omaha. During the ride, the cruiser cam caught McIntyre taking the trooper's hat before leaving the vehicle. Anyone with information about McIntyre's whereabouts is asked to call Crime Stoppers at 444-STOP. Well, here is Lester Holt now with what's coming up on the NBC Nightly News. Coming up tonight, the dramatic evidence not seen or heard before as the penalty phase begins in the Boston bombing trial with the government asking for the death penalty. We'll update you on a major recall of ice cream and ice cream related products linked to uh, cases of listeria. Also tonight, how would you handle it if your two-year-old daughter came to you and insisted that she was really a boy? Tonight we'll have one family's journey of discovery and acceptance. A Heartland family hit by hard hit hard rather by recent tragedies and first the senseless killing of Andrea Kruger. Then after that her mother Terry Roberts suffered a life threatening infection. Her story was featured today on the doctors. Terry lost both arms and both legs to a strep and a sepsis infection. Her family had lost hope that she'd ever recover. They even made the decision to pull the plug and let her go. But Terry opened her eyes and let them know she wanted to live. I can either sit here and feel sorry for myself or just pick myself up and move forward. There's life to live and that's what I'm going to live. 
Wow, pretty amazing. Terry believes she got a strep infection while shaving, but fortunately she survived and she can enjoy her family and grandchildren. And to help cover the family's extensive medical costs, they're holding a fundraiser this Saturday. It's at the American Legion Hall in Valley, the event running from 4 until midnight. Donations will help cover Terry's extensive medical rehabilitation, physical therapy, and prosthetic costs. She may have not announced she's running for president, but Carly Fiorina sure looked like a candidate today. That's right. We caught up with the as yet unofficial candidate today in Council Bluffs. The former Hewlett Packard CEO held a meet and greet at the Council Bluffs library where she discussed her Republican values. She explained why someone like herself who hasn't held public office would still be a good fit for president. Ours was intended to be a citizen government, and there have been a lot of managers sitting in Washington, D.C. who haven't done anything substantive about this for a long time. Maybe it's time we talk about this. Today, Fiorina also visited Sioux City and Denison, Iowa. And our tour across Iowa ends Saturday evening. Still ahead, how dance can help lessen the effects of a devastating disease. But first, as we take a look outside from our CityCam network, we're looking off from the first national tower. You can see the CenturyLink and the Missouri River off in the distance. Chief Meteorologist Michael Point's coming up with our hour-by-hour -hour forecast to help you plan your night. You also don't see any sun, unfortunately. No, it's a little overcast. This reminder, all of our newscasts are streamed live to your tablet, smartphone, and computer. Just click on the link on our homepage. You're watching the Heartland's favorite choice for local news with Mallory Maddox, Joe Chiodo, your hour-by-hour -hour forecast with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. This is WOWT 6 News, live at 5. Brings your home to life. What makes it all work? And what could possibly make it any better? Introducing Cox Home Life, home security and automation. It doesn't just protect your home, it unlocks your home's full potential. So you have more control during the day and can sleep better at night. Cox Home Life, protect, monitor, control. I view myself in a more positive role after winning the DJ's Hero Award. The DJ's Hero Award reaffirmed that I was on the right path working with children. I feel the DJ's Hero Award is unique because it recognizes students in their hometown. How I paid the award back is helping student teachers in my classroom. Liz Murray's well-documented journey from homeless to Harvard is shocking, inspiring, and heartwarming. Hear Liz's story in her own words at this year's DJ's Hero Awards luncheon May 5th at the Century Link Center. Reserve your seat at GiveSalvationArmy.org. Brought to you by Bank of the West. Ford is taking the EcoBoost Challenge all across America. It puts you back in the seat. Check out the new Mustang and find out why Ford is the brand more people buy and buy again. Mustang got a lot of pickup. As soon as I hit that gas, yeah. that EcoBoost is there. I like, can't believe it's a four-cylinder. Go to the performance side, good at the pump. Definitely a winner. Now get 500 total savings or 3.9% financing for 60 months, plus a limited maintenance plan on Mustang. Only at your Midwest Ford dealers. John Nicely, WOWT 6 News. Five powerful radar sweeps pinpoint exactly when weather will hit your neighborhood hours before it happens. WOWT 6 is the weather authority. Well, we start off today with a lot of sunshine today. A few more clouds rolling in right now. Temperatures topping out in the lower 60s. A little bit below average, but it does get a little bit cooler by tomorrow here across the region. A few isolated showers are flying just to our north and to our east. We'll show you those in just a second. Clear skies then will develop overnight and uh, much cooler weather on the way for tomorrow here across the region. Again, here in the Omaha metro area as well as Council Bluffs, everything is dry at this moment, but you know, there's a little disturbance sliding off to the south and east. So this is just some very, very light rain over toward the Dunlap area, Woodbine, down toward Logan. It's going to be uh, heading uh, not too far away. It's actually moving through Harlan right now as that tracks to the south and east. Once that clears, 
We will talk about dry conditions and actually uh, clearing skies later on tonight as high pressure begins to build in. Look at these temperatures. They're ranging from 68 degrees right now in Falls Cities to 60 in Plasmouth. Temperatures mainly in the low to middle 50s in western parts of Iowa. Current temperature in Lincoln, by the way, right at 63 degrees. Now here's a bigger picture on our satellite and radar shows that little piece of energy sliding right across our area. So again, for the next hour or so, you could see a sprinkle or two, maybe a little light rain in western Iowa, but that's going to quickly race away. High pressure is working its way in from the north, and that eventually will start to slide in right on top of us. Our winds will go rather light, relatively speaking, and also start to clear out those clouds here across the region. So here's your RYR forecast to help you plan your evening. Mostly cloudy skies the farther south and east you go, the farther to the west and north, mostly clear skies. So in between, you'll see a few sprinkles over toward Atlantic, Red Oak, down toward the Creston area. By 9 o'clock this evening, most of the clouds should be just to the south of the metro. And by midnight, look at these temperatures dropping off in the mid to upper 30s. By midnight and by tomorrow morning, yes, these are going to be actual readings. Lower 30s, 32 degrees expected here in the metro area, right at the freezing point. 31, uh, not too far away, and some 30s over toward Fremont and the Lincoln area. So temperatures dropping to the freezing point tomorrow morning. And we will have the possibility of some patchy frost. So kind of keep that in mind. If you planted some flowers, you may want to cover them up or pull them in the garage. We're talking temperatures right at 32 degrees. Winds pretty light. We're going to see a lot of sunshine, 49 degrees. Sunny but cool in the afternoon with a high temperature right at 57 degrees. The most of the day tomorrow looks, uh, well, relatively quiet. Take a quick peek here at our hour by hour forecast and what you're going to see for the most part is not many clouds. So a kind of a cold start. You're going to see a lot of sunshine, but temperatures running about eight degrees or so below average as we go throughout the day. A little bit better on Thursday after a kind of a chilly start at 36. Chance of some rain right now on Friday and some hit and miss rain over the weekend. Nothing major, not a complete wash up, but those temperatures though only in the upper 50s to lower 60s. Those nighttime lows will improve into the 40s here across the region. For more weather information, just go to my Facebook page at Mike LaPointe WX. And I went to Iowa today. Okay. Ooh, Council Bluffs, All right. Longfellow Elementary School. Those are the kindergartners. Look at how many. Mm -hmm. Lots There's of a lot them out there. And uh, we talked about tornadoes and severe weather. They're ready to go for the severe weather season. And, you know, a lot of them were pretty interested in mm -hmm. tornadoes over water, which are called water spouts. Oh, I thought that was a Sharknado. It's not what it's <laughs> well, called. Well, yeah, that's <laughs> in my next close. version. It's really close. I was close. confused. That's I coming next it. time. <laughs> One thing at a time, Joe. Okay, thank you, Mike. <laughs> well, coming up in Family Health, new research finds that the benefits outweigh the risks for kids with heart rhythm disorder. But first, another study reaffirms that receiving the measles vaccine does not increase the risk of autism in children. This is WOWT 6 News, live at 5. Sky Alert live Doppler 6000 during severe weather. Log on to WOWT.com for instant up for the second information when you need it. From the WOWT 6 Weather Authority Severe Weather Dashboard on your computer, tablet, or phone. Sponsored by Controlled Comfort. Okay, buddy, what's your favorite kind of Cheerios? Honey nut. But chocolate is my other favorite. But apple cinnamon is my favorite, too. And fruity. Oh, yeah, and frosted. Okay, but... What's your most favorite of all? Mm, the kind I have with you. Me too. Join the Woodhouse family today and find out why over 20,000 customers annually choose Woodhouse. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. If your home is like an oven this summer, Exarban Heating, Air Conditioning, and Plumbing can cool you off. Register on our WOWT Facebook page, and you could win a free carrier air conditioner from Exarban Heating, Air Conditioning, and Plumbing. Go to WOWT.com for all the details. Mallory Maddox, WOWT 6 News.
Next week, at what age do we discover who we are? What did you feel like on the inside? Like I was a girl, not a boy. Two kids and their parents, rare and candid conversations on being transgender on NBC Nightly News. WOWT 6 News Live at 5 continues with today's Family Health Cast. For the families involved, it's one of the most personal and controversial medical debates around. Now today, new evidence that the MMR vaccine to prevent measles does not trigger autism. The findings are from a health consulting firm in Virginia that studied more than 95,000 children, some of which were already at risk for autism because they had older siblings with the disorder. Even in those increased risk cases, getting the MMR vaccine made no difference in the expected autism rates. Some experts are saying it's time to let the vaccine theory go and focus more on research on other potential causes. Should kids who have a heart rhythm disorder avoid most sports? New research says no, get out there and join in. Current thinking says there are only six safe sports for children who have what is called long QT syndrome. It's a disorder that can cause sudden fainting or even seizures. But a seven year study of children who did participate in other sports under a doctor's supervision resulted in no cardiac events or deaths. Experts say sports restrictions should be eased for children with long QT syndrome as long as they're properly treated and have immediate access to automated external defibrillator. Finally, after the diagnosis, the doctor might want to order you to dance. A new study finds tango dancing may help patients with Parkinson's disease. Researchers in Canada looked at changes in patients who took part in a 12-week tango course. Not only did the dance classes significantly improve their balance and mobility, they had some improvements in cognitive functions and less fatigue. Experts say tango helps Parkinson's patients sharpen their rhythmic ability, working memory, attention control, and multitasking skills. Another great reason to dance. Joe? All right, thanks, Mal. Coming up, adjusting to a new car can be difficult. Consumer Reports looks into car designs. We have the details next. You're watching WWT 6 News live at 5. Maybe the next state to ban powdered alcohol, why one business won't even sell it, and what the creator has to say about its safety. Plus, what dangerous work was left behind by an unlicensed plumber. That's coming up on WWT 6 News live at 6. Honda, I like it. Announcing Honda's Dream Garage Sales Event. Buy the best-selling SUV, the CRV, Motor Trends 2015 Sport Utility of the Year. Fill your garage with a new CRV for just $209 a month. Or drive with zero down, zero security, and zero first month's payment. CRVs fully loaded with five-star safety, rear view camera, Pandora radio, Bluetooth, and more. Just $209 a month or absolutely zero down. Honda, Save thousands like this week at your Honda, Omaha area like Honda it. dealers. Batteries Plus bulbs keep stacks of batteries for cars, cell phones, watches, plus light bulbs for lamps, can lights, and appliances right on hand. Did I mention we also repair smartphones? Batteries Plus bulbs. Trust the plus. Visit Batteries Plus bulbs today. Bike won't start? Scoot on into Batteries Plus bulbs and save $10 on Duracell Ultra AGM motorcycle batteries. Batteries Plus bulbs. Trust the plus. It's the 2015 Build Omaha Spring Parade of Homes, April 18th through the 26th. It's the ideal way to start the search for your own dream home. Click buildomaha.org for all the details. The 2015 Build Omaha Spring Parade of Homes, brought to you by Premier Bank and Metropolitan Utilities District. Welcome to Subway. What can I make for you? How about something from our new Mediterranean collection? Tender chicken or steak with feta cheese, cucumbers, black olives, and a creamy tzatziki sauce. Hurry in today. Subway. Eat fresh. WOWT 6 News continues with the Fact Finders Consumer Alert. 
Nearly a million bicycles are now being recalled for a dangerous problem. Trek Bicycles is recalling its bicycles equipped with front disc brakes. The problem, the quick release lever can turn too far and get stuck on the front of the disc brake. That can instantly freeze the front wheel and cause a crash. This happened at least three times. One person did become a quadriplegic. If you've got one, contact Trek for a new quick release that they can put on the front wheel. Another big recall to tell you about, this one involves notebook computer batteries. Lenovo is expanding its recall of ThinkPad notebook computer battery packs, now nearly 150,000 in all. The battery packs can overheat and possibly start a fire. If you've got one, check to see if it's been recalled. If it has, contact Lenovo for a free replacement. We've got links to all the information on our website, WOWT.com. You can just look for the Find It button and then recalls on the right-hand side of the screen. Well, car infotainment systems can be complicated and using them can be pretty frustrating. Consumer Reports has found on some cars, even the most basic controls are unnecessarily confusing and potentially dangerous. For decades, traditional automatic shift levers had park at the top, down to reverse, and drive at the bottom. You could see and feel the shifter go into position. Now newer designs give you electronic levers, push buttons, even dials to get into gear. In this BMW, you push the electronic lever forward to go into reverse. It stays in gear, but the shifter pops back to center. And in this Mercedes-Benz, the shifter is where the windshield wiper lever usually is. For people with years of driving experience, these shifters just aren't intuitive. They force you to unlearn years of muscle memory. In an emergency, you can easily revert back to old habits and put the car in the wrong gear. The, the new controls are even confusing for Jeffrey Reif, a car enthusiast and auto product liability attorney. I don't believe that one should ever have to pull out a owner's manual to figure out how to use lights or wipers. Even turning the car on and off has gotten complicated. In this 2015 Lincoln MKC, the ignition button is on the dashboard where you can hit it by mistake. That happened to several drivers, so Lincoln recalled the MKC earlier this year and is relocating the switch. Design can't get in the way of function. Controls need to be simple, intuitive, and safe. And not force you to learn how to drive all over again. Not all modern cars are overly complicated. Consumer Reports found that many models from Chevrolet, Hyundai, and Kia have simple, straightforward controls, even though they still have lots of high-tech features. I have to have the cup holder and the seat warmer. <laughs> Those are all your requirements. Non-negotiable. Yes. Well, coming up, a final check of our hour-by-hour -hour forecast. You're watching WWT 6 News, Live at 5. Medicine. Extraordinary care. We are Nebraska Medicine. Right now, get any two large original or flatbread topping pizzas for only $20. Casey's, famous for pizza. There was a time when 10 miles to the gallon was acceptable. Today's 40 plus mile per gallon cars weren't even in the rear view mirror back then. Of course, this Linux air conditioner wasn't on the radar either. It's solar ready, the quietest, most energy efficient air conditioner you can own. It's time to live in the now. Call A1 United for the most advanced technology in heating and air conditioning. When you're ready to live in the now, call my friends at A1 United Heating, Air, and Electrical. Now get up to $1,700 in rebates. Spring break isn't over yet. The party's just beginning at Edward Chevrolet Cadillac. Catch a break and save big on new 2015 Chevys. Qualified buyers can get a break on financing, too, with 0% APR for 60 months on select Chevys. Right now, get a break on a new Silverado Double Cab lease for just $195 per month. Everyone deserves a break, so come get yours during the spring break event at Edward Chevrolet Cadillac, the home of the truck. Price, protection, peace of mind. All good things must come to an end. Books, naps, sandwiches. But at Arby's, you can put off the end with two euros for six dollars. Pita bread, two times. Twice as long with tzatziki sauce. But when the second euro ends, don't act sad. You knew this was coming. You knew the euros would end eventually. Arby's, we have the meats. Serious medicine. Extraordinary care. We are Nebraska Medicine.
is an evening out there. Yeah, not bad. May see a few sprinkles. We'll clear mm -hmm. it out, and then cold conditions move in. Matter of fact, Ooh. by tomorrow morning, we could see some patchy areas of frost across some of the area. 32 degrees to start. 57 will be the high. It does get a little bit warmer on Thursday, but then a good chance of rain on Friday, 59 degrees, and some hit and miss rain over the weekend. Not a complete washout like last weekend, but high temperature should be in the upper 60s. We won't reach that until next week. So actually temperatures colder than normal. Yeah, you it's, need to find that heavier coat, Joe. I do. It's the overnight lows that catch you off guard. You yeah. can deal with the stuff. I mean, when in the you're day. out walking around at 3 a.m., <laughs> it's just I know. really <laughs> not us. Our morning see your breath. <laughs> I know. We'll see you back tonight at six. <laughs> WOWT 6.